Welcome to this Pool Solutions DIY help video. This is one of a series of videos demonstrating how to prepare the swimming pool surface and apply our four layer epoxy coat system. In this specific video we will show you how to inspect the, the pool sides and the surface to determine if there is a risk for reverse osmotic pressure uh, which is moist penetrating from outside and which can ruin your investment. The epoxy coat system consists of four layers. The first is a penetrating primer, specially developed for concrete uh, surfaces and marbleite, any cement type surface. And the purpose is that it will penetrate into the surface 2 to 3 millimeters to create a very strong bond. Uh, this will be followed by three top coat layers. However, any penetration of moist from outside the pool can prevent the penetration of the primer into the cement type surface and this will compromise the bonding of the epoxy onto the surface and could later result in a blistering. Except for the bubbling as you can see in the diagram that can occur in the coating. So how can we prevent this and this is what this video is about and we will show you how to inspect your pool surface to prevent this condition. Uh, in this video I would like to draw your attention to the fact that there is no wet spots appearing on the marbleite. Uh, in this empty pool. There are no signs of uh, dampness coming through uh, and we will prepare the surface by grinding it open creating a small square area where we can chip out the marbleite and to see if there are any moist penetration from behind the marbleite. Typical areas where you would like to in do this ins inspection is against the vertical side uh, of the steps where water can accumulate underneath the steps and the paving from outside and on any side of the pool where you might uh, suspect that irrigation systems or high water levels due to a hillside for instance uh, might be a source uh, for concern. And now see what's, what is happening here as we chip away on this uh, marbleite you can already see the water flowing out of the left bottom corner of this uh, opening. Well, you might wonder why this is such a big problem. Well, the presence of water behind the marbleite is an indication that the slow penetration of moist through the marbleite will occur over a period of time. Accumulate be behind any paint coating or even fiberglass or whatever the lining is and will create pressure and push the lining away uh, from uh, the marbleite uh, under higher temperatures. Now you might not see this on the normal swimming pool surface as the penetration of the moist is a very slow process and it normally evaporates faster than you can see it forming moist on the surface. Uh, in this case we did find that the wall and the concrete behind the marbleite uh, was quite uh, damp and soaked with water we decided to also inspect uh, other parts of the swimming pool. Although no damp spots um, are visible, when we cut open this part of the swimming pool you can see our water already flowed out and we chose a spot uh, when we noticed a wet spot on the ground outside the pool, uh, maybe due to a burst underground pipe. Now we have found that the problem as demonstrated in this video is limited to a very small percentage of swimming pools that we have coated in the past. But it's worthwhile doing this check just to ensure that you would not run into problems and that your paint layer uh, won't blister uh, at a later stage. But the question of course is how to resolve this problem. On some swimming pools you might find that the damp spots uh, are quite visible before you start to paint the pool. In other cases like this one, it might be hidden, but you might find that by cutting open a few inspection holes that you can determine uh, from which side the problem exists. Uh, the solution is to let the water drain through into the swimming pool for a few days. Uh, after you see that the water has uh, dried up and the wall has become totally dry, you can seal up these grinding holes with white cement and bonding liquid. You can use this to patch up these areas again 
uh, and then you should implement a water barrier system using PCT66. It absolutely absorbs into the structure and fill the cavities and creates a crystallized barrier inside the marbleite and this will prevent future pressures from outside dampness uh, to push through to the inside of the pool. In severe cases like this swimming pool in this video we have found that the pressure was too high, uh, there was a continuous flow even after one or two weeks and we couldn't stop the water flow due to a continuous underground water source and in this case uh, we advise the clients that we will not apply our product uh, on this swimming pool and that you should rather remarbolite, uh, which would offer a more breathable solution to the outside pressure. Even a fiberglass solution would not work on the swimming pool as water would uh, continuously uh, create pressure behind the fiberglass, uh, causing a bubbling of the fiberglass and of course a blistering in the paint coating. But in most cases we have found that the problem is, is uh, not that serious and that we can resolve uh, any moist penetration by these methods by allowing the surface to dry and uh, treating the surface with, with a moist barrier like PCT66. Uh, we can then repaint the pool uh, which will result in a nice looking epoxy coated swimming pool as you can see uh, in this picture. Uh, sometimes it is also sufficient just to drill holes uh, through the whole structure to drain outside water tables and fill these holes up again and uh, this will allow the swimming pool to dry completely and it can then be successfully uh, coated with an epoxy coat. Well thank you for watching this video. This is just a precaution a pre inspection and don't feel discouraged. This is only on a small percentage of pools that we found this, and on thousands of other pools, we never had a problem with reverse osmotic pressure. But there is a certain uh, risk, uh, however small, and we thought we should bring it under your attention so you can take the precautionary measures to, to determine if you have such a problem and uh, to implement. Uh, the preventive measures to resolve this problem.